Hey, Whitney. Hey, Missy. Hey, you know, I thought since people keep asking me the same questions and I'm asking you the same questions, I thought, why don't we just kind of have a little Q&A and throw it out there in the world and let people know what's going on with us because it's pretty big stuff. <laughs> Perfect. That sounds great. One of the things that people keep asking me is why now? Why big rocks? I've been wanting to retire for about three years and you think, oh, no big deal, right? But it's a really heartfelt business that you and I are in. And when I was talking to people about taking it over, I couldn't find the right fit for somebody that just thought, oh, this is going to be easy. You know, it's not just plug and play. So it's really not transactional. It's more about the people and the relationships because we're so close. So I'm just so happy that Big Rocks exists and it's the right time. You're poised for growth and we chose you because I know you're going to treat our clients the way they deserve to be treated. And have some fun along the way. So that's my answer. Thank you. We feel so honored and so grateful to be able to take care of Organizers Northwest clients. So why now for Big Rocks? We are poised for growth. You know, we kind of had that slow down during COVID to really do a lot of training behind the scenes and put structures in place. And now that nice. spring is here and that we're merging forces and it feels like everyone's been on pause for the last year and now they're ready to hit fast forward. Like we're ready to hit the ground running with them. And so it's really exciting. What do you think is going to be different? And what do you think will be the same for, for both of us and for our clients? What will be different? I think they're just very, very small things, maybe just slight procedural things or, or the order in which we do things like signing the service agreement and asking for payment beforehand so mm -hmm. that we don't have to worry about that when we get to a session. We just, you know, we just kind of hit the ground running and, and maximize that time with folks. I think that you having special training with the packing and the downsizing and that whole move management thing that we did not have, I think that's definitely a value add. We also have a specialty area in working with people who are neurodiverse. So folks who have ADD, um, ADHD, traumatic brain injury, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, yes. all kinds of different, uh, different things that might impact our brains and our executive functioning. So fabulous. You said what will remain the same, the excellent rapport that we build with our clients and coming in with zero judgment, co-creating that relationship with our clients and helping them get to a safe where place. To yeah, yeah, exactly. Creating that safe place. So it was interesting when you and I started talking months ago about our process of an intake when somebody first contacts us for help. And one of the questions that Organizers Northwest asked is, so what do you do for fun? And trying to get to the root and, you know, why are we doing this hard work of cleaning up your office? What's the goal and, and what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. And Whitney's question is, what are your big rocks? And so to me, it's kind of the same, it's the same result, the same information that you're looking for. Exactly. Oh, so, Whitney, what are your big rocks and what do you do for fun? My big rocks are my family, the big rocks team and our clients and health. And then just also having freedom and autonomy. Very important to me. For fun, I love to go hiking and camping. I like to garden. I used to be a master gardener and just really oh enjoy being outdoors doing that. How about you? I'm going to turn that question back around. Oh, I was afraid that was, let's see. Um, <laughs> you know, I am I am looking forward to, to not working and I, I don't think I'll be bored. I am a big reader, but the last 20 years has been for work. And so I'd like to read some for fun and been vaccinated and hopefully go on some trips and do some fun things, dig in the dirt a little bit, make Sounds a new great. recipe, wow. lots of projects, which I like. That's awesome. I'm really excited and happy for you. What do you like best about organizing? I like the questioning and discovery process. It's not just tidying up. There's, you know, something else is going on. Is this chronic? Is this situational? You know, what made someone pick up the phone or write us an email? And, you know, so I like that figuring it out together and not just saying this is how you do it, but 
figuring out what's going on. I really love that. Well, the process and then at the end result where people feel relieved, like they come in contacting us feeling completely overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And then just to see, like literally see that weight come off of their shoulders. That's what I find really rewarding. Do people ask you, oh, Whitney, your house must be so tidy. Yes. I think that's probably the number one assumption people make about organizers is mm -hmm. that our homes are perfect. And that's a myth. I mean, we're human beings. We're people just like you. What do you wish people knew about professional organizing? I get a lot of comments from folks who say, I love to organize. I would love to do what you do. And that is really awesome. And that's a great place to start from. But I think it's really not about you as an organizer. It's about right. your clients. And can you come in? Can you read somebody? Can you meet them where they're at? Can you teach transferable skills? Right. It's really about people. How about you? You have to be kind. You know, you're in somebody's personal space and it's intimate. Everybody's got a story. What do you think the future is for professional organizing? I think the future is very bright. I recently attended our NAPO conference, the National Association of Ooh, Productivity fine. Organizing Professionals. Yeah. And so there's some research that shows that currently only 4% of Americans have ever worked with a professional organizer. So there's a lot of wow. out there who I think have yet to discover the gift of organizing. We've been doing this, gosh, what, 17 years, and I'm still meeting people like, really? You come to my office and help me clean out my files? Really? So it's just always surprising to me that people don't know that we're out here, but we out here. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> so well, thanks, Whitney, for chatting this morning and just really excited to continue the relationship and help you guys rock it. Thank you, Missy. So grateful and so excited.